It tells us that Larry and Matt are the only two firms that sell wheat. And wheat is a completely homogenous product. So homogenous means that it's exactly the same. So Larry's wheat and Matt's wheat is exactly the same. A customer couldn't tell them apart. It says the market inverse demand for wheat is given by P equals 10 minus 0.1 big Q, where big Q is industry quantity. So big Q is equal to how much Larry produces and how much Matt produces. It then goes on to give us each guy's cost function. And then it says, assuming that Matt and Larry simultaneously choose quantities in the Nash equilibrium of this game, what will be the total quantity produced? So it's asking us again about big Q, which we define as QL plus QM. Well, first we need to write each person's profit function. Larry's profit function looks like this. We can substitute in for big Q because we know big Q is just equal to QL plus QM. And Matt's function, profit function is very similar, just a different cost function on the end. And we can substitute in um, for QL and QM again. So now starting from Larry's co uh, profit function, we're gonna try to find Larry's reaction function. We need to take the derivative with respect to QL and set it equal to zero. Well, first we can distribute through that negative one point or point one to QL and QM. Now we're ready to take the derivative. We get 10 minus 0.2 QL minus 0.1 QM minus 0.2 QL. And we can set that equal to zero and combine like terms. We're ready to solve for QL. So we divide through by 0.4 and we find this is Larry's reaction function. 25 minus 0.25 QM will equal QL. So now we can do the same thing for Matt. We do some algebra, we're gonna take the derivative, set it equal to zero again. Now with respect to QM, we go through and we solve that QM is equal to 20 minus 0.2 QL. So now that we have both reaction functions, we're ready to solve for each variable. Because remember, we have two variables and two systems of equations, we can use substitution to solve. We can choose either way, I've, cho I've chosen to start with Larry's reaction fun function and plug in Matt's reaction function. So we plug in 20 minus 0.2 QL for QM, and we're ready to solve. We solve for QL is equal to 21.0526. So solving for QM is pretty easy. We just go back up to Matt's reaction function, plugging in what we found for QL. And we see that QM is equal to 15.7895. So this question asks us about total industry output, which is just the two players in the industry, Larry and Matt, their quantities combined. So in this case, that's 15.7895 plus 21.0526. And that gives us our total industry output is 36.8421.